Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 7 to the power of t and this equals 7. So we are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now let's copy out this negative 7. I have negative 7, this equals negative 1 times 7. So I'm going to replace this negative 7 here with negative 1 times 7. I have negative 1 times 7, which is the same thing as negative 7 raised to the power of t, and this equals 7. Now, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. Applying this particular identity right here, you are going to have negative 1 power t times 7 power t equals 7. So right here, what we are going to do will be to consider this identity. Now, remember, there is negative 1 here. So we need to remove this negative 1 from here. And we can easily make use of this identity. If you have e to the power of i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. So from here, I can move this 1 over here. It becomes e power i times pi equals negative 1. So I can easily have it as negative 1 equals e power i times pi. So what we are going to do will be to replace this negative 1 here with this. So we are going to have e power i times pi raised to the power of t times 7 raised to the power of t equals 7. So right now, if you consider this identity, if you have a to the power of n times m, this equals a power n times n. So we are going to multiply this exponent out. That means we are simply going to have e power i times pi times t times 7 to the power of t equals 7. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to apply natural log. I take the natural log of e power i times pi times t times 7 to the power of t equals natural log of 7. So right now, let's apply this logarithm property. If you have log of a times b, this equals log of a plus log of b. Now, this is our, our a, this is our b. Also, if you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log of a. So we are going to apply these properties, these two properties right here. This is our a, this is our b. So what we can do at this point is, let's apply this first one. That means, remember, the properties of natural log are also applied to logarithm. Or the properties of log are applied to natural log. So we have the natural log of e power i times pi times t plus the natural log of 7 to the power of t equals the natural log of 7. So right now, we are going to apply the second property, meaning that the i pi t will come behind the natural log, and the t here will come behind the natural log. So we have i times pi t times the natural log of e plus t times the natural log of 7 equals the natural log of 7. So right now, this eliminate this, we have i times pi times t plus this times, this is t times natural log of 7 equals natural log of 7. So at this point, we have t here, we have t here, we can factor that out. We have t times this device t, we have i times pi plus this device t, 
we have natural log of 7 and this equals natural log of 7. So right now, what we are going to do will be to isolate this t. I can have t equals by dividing this by i pi. We divide this by i pi plus natural log of 7. And we divide this by i pi plus natural log of 7. So this cancel this. I have my t equals natural log of 7 divided by this is i times pi plus natural log of 7. Now, this is our solution. Now let's consider solving this using a different method. We are still going to solve the same problem, which is negative 7 power t equals 7. And we consider the first step again, replacing this negative 7 with negative 1 times 7. We have negative 1 times 7. Raised to the power of t equals 7. So what we can do at this point will be to make use of this other identity. Remember the complex law. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals imaginary number i. Now, if you take the squares of both of this, this cancel this, I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So we are going to replace this negative 1 here with i to the power of 2. That means we are simply going to have i power 2 times 7 raised to the power of t equals 7. So right now, what we can do is to make use of log. I have log of i power 2 times 7 raised to the power of t equals log of 7. Now, remember the logarithm property. If you have log of a power b, this equals b times log of a. So, this will definitely come behind this. We have t times log of i power 2 times 7 equals log of 7. Now, we apply this other logarithm property again. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. And this is my A and this is my B. So I'm going to have T times log I power 2 plus log 7. And this equals log 7. So right now, what we are going to do will be to solve isolate this T by dividing this by log i power 2 plus log 7, and I divide this by log i power 2 plus log 7. This cancel this. So from here, I'm going to have t equals log 7 divided by log i power 2 plus log 7. So what we are going to do will be, we apply this other logarithm property. We have log a power b, this equals b times log a. We apply it here. We have t equals log 7 divided by 2 times log i plus log 7. So we have this solution again. So this is our solution, making use of logarithm and where this is the solution we have making use of natural log. So the two, the two solutions are obviously very correct, depending on the method that you want to use. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.